Hey hello everyone, it's me Paige of Maces and welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. My voice sounds a bit weird, it's because I've got a cold. Just getting into the ends of it now, so I thought I might as well just see how my voice is. Try to record this episode at least, because tomorrow I need to have a DV out. Don't need to, but I would like to. I want to have a DV episode out, that's probably the best way to put it. I can hear Mr. Zombie somewhere. And Mr. Skelly. Not gonna get me. I should eat a potato. Grab that. Oh, inventory full. What can I get rid of? Get rid of the cobble. Where are you clanking up from? Probably there. Why didn't that eat? I am having some very weird issues. I've just been on Hypixel because I am totally addicted to the um, world game. Level 31 Pyromancer. If you see me, come play with me. Please come play with me. Oh no you don't. Where are you? Are you just above me? Below me? I do not trust these folk. Not at all. The zombies, they will try to kill you. They even so much as smell you. Make a bucket. And let's throw gravel away. You're not making me feel comfortable. diamonds around here? Is this even a diamond layer? Let's have a check. Uh, da, da, da. Yep, this is actually the perfect diamond level. That, however, is not perfect. That is not perfect in any way, shape or form. More bleeding gravel. Very good at finding gravel, not very good at finding diamonds. That seems to be my problem. I don't really need to use gravel for anything either. Oh, it's dark, that was a dumb place to put it. Well done, Paige. And I thought today, seeing as um, some of you enjoyed my little lecture about magical girls, I could tell you a little bit more about them. For those of you that don't know. It doesn't seem like there's anything this way. It's just pants, that is. Pure pants. So, magical girls. A in very interesting subject. Even I don't know all about them. But I shall tell you what I know. Hopefully you'll find it interesting. I need to get something on my bar. Aren't they? <laughs> to you as well. Shush. I am trying to lecture people. So magical girls can either be born or made. So, I think I'll start talking with magical girls that can be made. Ah, uh, there he is. There you are. Well, ha! Punted you in the lava. 
Titter, titter, titter. <gasps> Diamond! Just the one! But she's a glorious sight. Glorious, marvellous, wonderful. Some magical girls uh, come about naturally, like they have um, a linker core or something like that. Oh no, is it just the one? Oh, that's mean. There should be one nearby, isn't that the rule? That generally if there's a small vein, there'll be a vein next to it? Well, I get that wrong. I don't want to have got that wrong. I want more diamonds. Let's get rid of you. Don't need you. Don't really need you either. There. Hopefully that turns into four diamonds. Um, right, so magical girls. Several different types. Um, magical girls that are like normal girls beforehand can either have some sort of um, potential to become one or... Hello. This is where I've just been. That is so rude. Sucks. And generally they need like a guide to help them discover their magic, like Cube Or uh What's another one? Or Keroborus, although he was merely teaching a magical girl that didn't know she was a magical girl that she was. So some girls um, will become magical girls in exchange for a wish. Others will have some of it because they come from a long line of fam a long family line of magical girls. Um, some will be born with an organ called a linker core, which allows them to become a mage. Or oh god, that was nearly dumb. was nearly very, very stupid. How far out does this go? Any other cave noises? There's those bats just flying around. Hmm. Maybe I should dig around this area a little bit more. The diamond was just here. I see what's causing that. Um, and then there are some that need uh, that are called camphors. Actually, no. This is I had a whole like thing in my head of how this would go, and it's just not working. I cannot say what I want to say. It was all going to be like really interesting and enthralling, but it's just not coming out of my. It's not coming out properly. And all I'm doing is wasting my lovely silk touch pick that I'm going to massive debts with fish over. So yeah, screw this, let's go back home. Let's just go back home with our one diamond, see if Fortuna manages to make it into anything decent. How did I get out of here? Silly question, how did I get in here is a better one. Not up that way. Ah, it was up here. It 
was up here then, along here. Yes, 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 yes. Here's all the mushrooms. There's the staircase, here's all the water. Yep, here we go. Do I get gold out of this? I can't really remember. I think I've got some gold. No, I just got iron. <laughs> that was rubbish. This is a rubbish cave. Yeah, it keeps going up. Sploosh, come on. Oh, what's down here? Did I go down here? I did not. It just leads to an empty room. And back into the cave that I found. Well, that is just so darn useless. I don't get how some people can go, right, I'm gonna go caving, find an awesome cave, and get loads of diamonds. Me, I go, right, let's go caving find a rubbish cave. Just that one there. Oh, hang on. This side just might be the ticket. That looks like that goes down pretty far. I don't think I explored this way, did I? Right. I'm going to drop my own bucket of water down there, thank you very much. What's around here? Often loads of iron and coal. And gravel. More water and a bat. Hello bat. I have enough wood to make some more torches, so let's do that thing. Um, I suppose, try and talk about anime. Anime season is carry on going. Really enjoying Seikono and Iska, because they're, they're really... Iska is one that kind of got uh, came up a bit late, later than normal, so I didn't talk about that in my original Here's the Anime I'm Watching This Season thing. Um, basically about a guy called Shinichiro who is walking home one day when he gets approached by a lady wearing nothing but a trench coat who offers him the chance to give up his energy uh, for a lot of pleasure I think it is and then he gets saved by a girl with a strange girl with a bow It's called Sakuya, who's a very Tsunde character who belongs to a clan of people who destroy spectres who prey on humans. And he has the ability, through kissing, to pass on his spiritual energy, which he has a lot of. He's like a battery of spiritual energy. Um, and there's this teacher that knows all about it and is uh, like helping the girl out. And he also has the ability to discover the true name of someone, also by kissing. So it's a bit on the etchy side. <laughs> As in the first episode, they're up against a wind spirit who manages to destroy the clothes that Saki is wearing. With not much effort at all. So yep, it's one of those. You know, she has a sister cousin, member of the same clan as her, who is trying to become the head of the family. Because the rest of the family don't like the fact that. Um, that Sak oh, I forgot. No, it's Sakia is uh, the head of the family because she is half um, Western mage, half Japanese. And there's this western mage that's trying to kill them all as well by giving all these spectres. There's quite a big death toll in this. And it gets quite gruesome at times. But it's 
well written and there's a the, um, char Suzuri character. It's pretty interesting. She um, can summon wind and this little ferret thing called Kamaitachi. And in the last episode she recently tamed this big thunder beast. Which is pretty awesome to watch. How far down am I? Level 7. Right, let's hit the bedrock layer then. Oh god. Let's hit the bedrock layer and panic. Oh my days. If I run into that same lava pit again, I'm going to be annoyed. What else haven't I talked about? Oh yeah, Aria Worldbreaker the Swordsman. It's getting... Oh god! Nope, we are not going that way. Screw that way. Screw that way entirely. I do not like it. I'm kind of getting a bit annoyed at one of the characters in, um, in Swordbreak because she's just a completely... Wa she seems really one-dimensional. And that's something I can't really abide. She's just there to sort of moan about how she wants to be with her brother. Who's not really her brother in this world timeline incarnation thing. It does just sort of get on my nerves. Where the other two that are kind of in the harem are a bit more interesting, have a bit more going for them. And do a hell of a lot more for the guy than just go, I want to kiss you, why can't we date me? And all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and as I said, let's get out of here. We've explored down there, nothing to be found. How do we get out? How do I get out of here? That way? Not this way, is it? I remember I fell down here. Oh my god, my throat. <laughs> it's not fun being sick, guys. It's really not. Especially when it's one of the busier day one one of the busier times at work because Mother's Day's coming up today. For England, at least. Americans, you don't have to panic. You've not missed Mother's Day. You're not neglectful sons. We just celebrate it at a different time of the year to you. No need to panic. You crazy guys celebrating at the wrong time of year. I think my hair sheep all we're near the top of the we're near the surface. There there we go. Oh, it's a zombie villager. Well sorry. You're just going to have to die. What is this? Why didn't I find this sooner? Damn it, Minecraft! I don't have a spade. Right. Led to a dead end. Normally I dig behind the gravel, but don't really want to. Just get out of here. Although, in rather worrying news, the Withers stuff seems to have gone missing. If you've been watching Logan's videos, or I suppose Mango now, because he's had his name changed successfully, he's no longer Welsh. He's back to being American again. And there was much rejoicing. We don't need more people from the UK on this server. I mean, five is excessive. Right, which way is home? 
I suppose just look for unusually coloured sheep. Let's eat. <coughs> and I might have to take some more medication. Because I've got to keep my voice up because doing D and D again tonight. Right. Uh see what happens when we end a pearl that way. We end up on a plane. On a plane to buy a swamp. In a birch forest. We need fish. Let's have an explore. I don't know where I am. There's no sign of the thriving metropolis of Trevor. And no sign of my place, no sign of the Shire. Oh my god, I'm lost! Where am I? It's getting night. Shit, it's getting night. It's getting night! I'm gonna die! No, I won't. I have shears. Get out of here, Mr. Mouton. I do not need you. That's two. We need one more. Oh no, it's getting... is it? It is getting night. Hang on a tick. I recognise this place. No, we're fine, we're fine. I've just got turned around, that's all. Emerged from the... Oh, don't fall down there. This is right on the border between 1.6 and 1.7 territory. I know exactly where I am. In a minute we should be coming across the thing that I built to do that dare. That I half arsedly tried to burn down. Oh no, I used my whole ass. It was just uh, it was raining. So it was hard to do that then. There we are. See, told you. My take on Evangelion's gymnasium scene. That was that took forever, but that was actually pretty fun. I really enjoyed doing that. Shelter for the night out here. Leave a bed. In case anyone is adventuring and comes across it. Logan came across one of the places that I made the other time when he was busy. What the heck? Why is Hypixel showing on here? Why is all the Hypixel information showing up? That is really weird. That is utterly bizarre. What's going on, Minecraft? Tell me, please. I am intrigued and worried. Chicken. <coughs> Don't want the chicken or the feathers, thank you. Oh, let's eat. Let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. And I need to be careful because there is a ravine starts just about here that I've not been into. Not yet anyway. Let's go around this. I know a, I know a way. Sometimes it is fairly tempting to burn this place down. Just so that I can walk to and fro easily enough. But I am not that kind of person.
See, here we are on the edge of a chunk. This kind of thing happens fairly often, and it's so cool. <gasps> you toss bag. Oh, I hate you. I got him. Toss bag, though, he may be. I still killed him. Ah, damn it, no more water. Ah! I've had enough with this water! I just have. It's horrible. Get me out of it. My trousers are gonna rust. Oh, uh, my hat broke. My trousers have rusted, my hat has broken. It is not a good day for me. This just has not been a good episode for me. This is why we don't go caving. This is why I am so poor. Hello? Something I put down? I think it might be. I'm now coming around the back of my place. Is George have you something to say to that? <laughs> oh, there's a good boy. All this morning he was asleep under my desk. Just like, glomming to the radiator. It was adorable. I was a bit confused when I heard him snoring and wondered what's going on. I realised I left the door open because me and Jonah were snuggled up last night together. Hello. Hello again. Oh! Ouch. Is that a skelly jockey? No, oh, just a skelly. I should probably want myself some better armour before I start trying to cave again. Alright. So many interesting places I'm finding. Maybe I'll have a bit more luck if I uh, explore those. Uh, right, let's get the ender pearl out. And pipe the way up a cleef. It's a cleef I still don't recognise. Oh, actually, I tell a lie. I might recognise this place, but I don't know. I don't know anymore. Don't know about the, my own biome that I live in. I actually feel like I'm going to cry, stupid cold, making him feel like that. I am not going to cry. Yep, here we are. We're home. Let us end up all... No! Oops. Thankfully, depth strider means that I can go get through the water quicker. Hey, and we're back. Let's get Fortuna and see if we actually get any more than see if we get more than one diamond with it. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Ah, this is from Pix. This will be his new Prezi. Oh, I've packed ice. Nice. I'm gonna have to think of a thing to do with that. That's going to be an interesting thing to think about. No, Fortuna is in the house. Fortuna is in my house. I don't know if that is actually the way you're supposed to pronounce that, but I'm going to pronounce it that way regardless because it's funny. My axe is Fortuna. He's getting into a... Getting into those cans is really difficult, eh? You didn't want to see that. That was stupid. I'm saving that for something special. Right. How many are you going to give me? If we do a little limber up first. Jump on some diamond ore. That could be the new thing. For instead of jump on a chest, jump on some diamond ore. Or jump on a diamond block. 
Hmm. That was two. That's not bad. That's fine, I suppose, for now. Added two paltry diamonds to my stock. And I think, seeing as the wither stuff has now gone missing, that I need to start making myself a bunker somewhere where I can hide and then go and investigate what happened. What, ha what uh, where they might have gone after team up with Inspector Shortfish to do this because uh, we don't want her coming back at all, do we guys? So, for now, I'm Page of Mate. I'm Page of Maces, TTFN.